Hello and welcome to Blue Coat SSL Visibility Appliance in Action. During this particular video, we would like to show you how Blue Coat's SSL Visibility Solution allows you to eliminate your encrypted traffic blind spots in the network. In this video, we would also introduce Blue Coat's host categorization functionality on SSL Visibility Appliances and how that functionality can be used to decrypt traffic selectively depending upon your legal, HR, and compliance requirements. We will also share with you a few best practices on how to use host categorization service in implementing HR, legal, and compliance requirements when it comes to decrypting traffic on a live SSL visibility appliance and run some traffic through it to verify the desired outcome. Most customers, when deploying SSL visibility appliance in their network, do not want to decrypt all the traffic by default. Instead, they like an ability to have a policy engine that makes decisions based on category that the destination belongs to. We address this concern with our host categorization service that provides 80 plus categories of destinations on the internet. This service is provided by our global intelligence network which provides the same service to our proxy SG, Packet Shaper, and security analytics platform and other Blue Coat products. This is a subscription-based service that updates the on-box database every 10 minutes. As with other rules that you can define and create on SSL Visibility Appliance, the rules defined with HostCat are also applicable to all ports and all protocols by default, which means that when you are using SSL Visibility Appliance for selective decryption, you do not have to create rules for per port or per protocol. As you can see, you can select the categories with a simple click that will be added to a rule which is either decrypting or bypassing the traffic. In addition to using host categorization service and the categories from the HostCat service, you can also define the rules to either decrypt or bypass the traffic based on the source IP address, uh, based on the certificate status, uh, and or you can create your own list of subject and domain names that you want to explicitly decrypt traffic going to or bypass the traffic going to. Bluecoat's global intelligence network that provides the host categorization on SSL visibility appliance services over 1 billion categorization requests per day. It understands 55 languages from around the world to provide our customers with most accurate categorization. Bluecoat's global intelligence network generates this intelligence using multiple technologies and algorithms that crunch the data that we receive from our 75 million users using our products installed all around the world. Here is an example of best practices on using host categorization service on SSL visibility appliance for creating rules and policies for decrypting traffic selectively. In this example, you may want to decrypt the traffic to categories like webmail, social media, web browsing, file sharing, and software downloads, and of course to unrated and to categorized malicious sites. And you may want to do that because you want your other security devices like malware detection devices, AVs, DLPs, to scan the traffic coming in and out of these services to protect your users and your business. Here is an example of a best practice on using host categorization service on SSL visibility appliance for creating rules and policies for decrypting traffic selectively. In this example, our customer wants all traffic to and from the services and sites in the categories webmail, social media, web browsing, file sharing and software downloads, and of course, unrated and malicious sites to be decrypted and scanned using existing and planned security devices such as malware detection, IPS, IDS, DLP, etc. Here is another example where a customer may not want to decrypt traffic to certain categories due to local compliance and employee privacy issues while decrypting everything else. 
In this example, you can write a policy that excludes certain categories such as personal health, finance and brokerage services, government and legal categories from inspection to protect your employees' privacy. The solution also allows you to create your own whitelist of services and sites that you do not want SSLV to inspect as well. Depending upon the geography, country, or region the device is deployed in, you can customize the policy to accommodate the local requirements for compliance. That said, you can also bypass or cut through all the traffic that you do not want to decrypt selectively. Now let's look at these policies on SSL Visibility Appliance and see the policy engine in action. User interface of SSL Visibility Appliance. Our demonstration is very simple. First we will define few rules and policies to selectively decrypt the traffic and then run some traffic through the SSL Visibility Appliance using a client machine to see how SSL Visibility Appliance uses those rule sets in its policy engine by looking at a running SSL session log. Before we look at the rule sets, let's take a look at two lists that we will utilize in our demonstrations. Uh, lists are used to collect multiple items of same type of information so that a single rule set can point to the list and will be applied whenever any of the items in the list are true. Take a look at the host categorization list. To get there, we'll go into policies and host categorization list. As you can see, I have already downloaded the host categorization database from Bluecoat's Global Intelligence Network as a subscription for this appliance. And we'll go in here and create, let's say, a new list called PII. And in this list, we would like to include the categories or the traffic that is going to the sites that we do not want to decrypt because it contains employees' private information. This is how the host categorization list looks. And you have free here to pick the categories that you want to include in a particular list. In this case, we are using for a PII use case, we'll select the categories that, for example, brokerage and training, finance services, government and legal, and health, and simply click OK. And this creates a list. Now, there could be a use case where you do not want to or explicitly want to decrypt the traffic going to a particular service. So let's see how we can utilize the lists in that case. So let's go into the subject and domain name list. And for example, my use case here is that I do not want to decrypt traffic going to any of the Yahoo sites or services. In that case, we'll match the traffic, which presents a common name for yahoo.com in its certificate. When the traffic is matched that way, a certain rule will be applied. Now we're ready to create a rule sets that we will utilize these lists in. To create the rules, we will select the default rule set that I have created earlier, and we will go and add one rule in it, saying the action is cut through, which essentially means we are not decrypting the traffic. And we will use a list called PII that we created from host categories. Now this rule very simply means if you see a traffic uh, going to or coming from any of the hosts or services that belongs to the categories we added to PII list, simply bypass or cut through that traffic. I'll hit apply and we also created a list which we asked SSLV to bypass all the traffic going to Yahoo. And we'll use that in my, in my quick definition here and action is cut through, we'll hit OK to add that traffic. Hit Apply. And since we have now added specific destinations that we do not want to decrypt, I would like to add a rule that says decrypt everything using the certificate that we generated on SSL Visibility Appliance itself and simply add that rule. Now, what we're doing here is, as the traffic comes into SSL Visibility Appliance, it will hit these rules. And the moment traffic matches the first rule, that rule will be applied. So if a traffic doesn't match the port destination port 3389, which I'm using for my remote desktop, because I don't have a certificate for, for that service, uh, it doesn't match the category list PII, 
and it doesn't match all Yahoo traffic lists that we created, it will get decrypted. Now we now the time is uh, right to run some traffic and see how SSL Visibility Appliance Policy Engine uses these rules that we have created. Before we start our test, let's go to SSL Visibility Appliance's SSL session log and we will mark it running. And uh, let's go to our client, which is my Windows machine, 10.9.166.77, and we'll open three browsers and try to browse to, to multiple places on the internet. So for example, we'll go to first uh, facebook.com and see if SSL Visibility Appliance actually decrypts the traffic or not. And while the Facebook is happening, We'll also go to eTrade.com, which essentially is brokerage services, one of the one of the sites that should belong to the category we added to not decrypt. We'll also go to Hotmail.com and see if Hotmail traffic gets decrypted or not. Using IE itself, we'll go to Twitter as well. While we're here on Google Chrome, let's also go to BankofAmerica.com. And we'll see in SSL Visibility Appliance session log if it was decrypted or not. I'll go to an international site, State Bank of India. It's, it's an HTTPS. And see if we decrypted that or not. Uh, there's a little bank in uh, Vietnam as well that we should visit and see how our host categorization service identifies the financial services accurately. There are other places we can go to. For example, Society General for private banking. And let's look at uh, Mozilla as well. well. Here, we're going to do something different. We are going to go to a bad place on the internet, and we're going to download a known bad file. I'm not going to execute it. I'll simply save it. Now we are ready. So we went to some of the financial sites, health sites, a bad place on the internet. Let's go back to our SSL visibility appliance and see how the SSL session log looks. Remember, the last one we went to, blackhole.org. Let me just stop this for a minute blackhole.org since it doesn't belong to any of the categories that we defined to bypass the traffic for was decrypted we went to society general we went to vietnamese bank we went to uh, google apparently but we were able to decrypt that traffic because we didn't tell sslv to bypass google traffic let's look at the logs more so here, onlinestatebankofindia.com was cut through, and so was bankofamerica.com traffic. Here, there was corematrix.com, which is not part of financial services. That traffic was very successfully decrypted. More SSL session log. We went to Bank of America, was cut through. There was some ad services, Google, that was actually decrypted. There was some more domains that were not categorized as financial services, those were decrypted as well. You look at the Windows services, since we didn't say to bypass that, we are able to decrypt those services as well. So you see here that the traffic, selective traffic to the financial services was not decrypted. And the last rule that said decrypt all, everything that doesn't belong to any of those categories, was successfully decrypted. Bluecoat's SSL visibility solution allows you to balance the security needs of the organization with its data privacy and regulatory compliance requirements. It also empowers you to maintain the investment in existing security infrastructure while providing the performance and granular policy enforcement needed to selectively decrypt traffic to maintain privacy and compliance. It allows you to reduce the risks and costs associated with data breaches and exfiltration.